How's it going guys? We're gonna go ahead and uh, do the breakdown review on Orvis Pro LT hunting vest today. We did the Pro hunting vest from Orvis a few months ago. You guys have probably watched the video on that if you have. If you haven't, go check it out on YouTube. So the Pro LT, uh, in the name, it's lighter. 42% lighter according to Orvis's uh, information. And why is it lighter? Well, I'm going to tell you right up front. It's lighter because there's less to it. Quite a bit less to it. Almost 50% less. So I'm going to run through the vest, show you what the, they've changed on this versus the Pro Series hunting vest. And I'm going to tell you the things I like, the things I don't like, and just kind of go over the vest in general so you have an idea of what you're looking at. So I'm six foot two. Uh, we've had this vest on six or seven different fellas, no ladies yet, but the adjustments are great. There's a lot of range for adjusting on this vest. It is lighter and it makes it nice for folks who are not gonna run dogs. Let's say you take your hunting buddy out, he wants to hunt with you and he needs a vest. Um, this could be a good option. Using this vest, there's less options for water carry on this um, right up front. One of the things I noticed on it that I don't like, um, but if you're running with a guy that just needs water for himself, he should be able to fit a decent amount of water in this and survive because I'm not carrying his water. Uh, so let's just go over it in general. Um, straps. Straps are lighter weight, as you can tell on this. Not a lot of padding on these straps. I'm going to pull the Pro vest up here and kind of give you an idea what that looks like padding-wise. It's almost the same weight, a little bit thicker on the Pro LT, a little bit narrower than the pro vest as well so side to side comparison a little bit a little bit narrower less material so there's some of your weight loss uh it does have the strap across the chest for um, tightening up here and getting that nice snug fit on your body same with the waist belt saw a comment on another review of the pro vest uh, some fellow didn't like the fact that the straps are so long on the waist these vests are set up to adjust to fit anybody. So if you've got a bigger guy, smaller guy, that's why these straps are longer. So you can make those adjustments. Um, what that guy might not have been able to figure out is that you can tuck these straps underneath the pockets on these vests, both the Pro and the LT version. Real nice feature. Once you get that set to your size, you just tuck those in. That way those straps are out of your way. They're not flopping around, not getting in your way, not snagging on stuff and getting torn up. So uh, the nice buckle on these for adjusting here. Um, not too big, not too small. Perfect, nice snap, nice fit. Um, let's go to the front adjustments here. They've got a couple extra. Well, on the one side, they got an extra loop. If you are a dog guy and you want to whip your lanyard through on one of your controllers here for your dog's collars, your GPS, this would be a nice place to hang that or any other gear, you could snap it on here. A little extra feature there. The straps, got a lot of adjustment space for bigger or smaller folks. So if I weighed 350 pounds, this would fit me just as well. So these you can tuck in behind you. If you got the same complaint about those um, being in your way, just tuck them in behind your back there and they're nice and snug and out of the way. Uh, the pockets on the front. In comparison to the Pro Vest, this is one of the best features on this vest. The, the LT Vest has the one thing going for it that the Pro Vest does not, and I wish Orvis would make this adjustment to the Pro Vest, the pockets. These pockets can be moved forward and back on the belt. And for most guys, uh, I think that's gonna be a big selling point for this vest. You can move these forward and back depending on your size and waist. And overall, if they could make that adjustment on the Pro Vest, I think that vest would be the best vest on the market out there. 100%, no questions asked. But real easy to slide this back and forth. Velcro on the inside, it snugs up to that. It stays in place once you got it where you want it. Does it on both sides great option for us on this pro lt vest make the change on the pro vest guys gals whoever is working on the design there you need to make that change to the pro vest so the pro lt vest 
thumbs up on the pockets. Velcro enclosures on the front for the Pro LT on both sides. I kind of prefer the snap that they have and the magnet enclosures on the Pro Vest. Those kind of snap down and stay there. They don't really snap down. You kind of got to pat them down with the Velcro. A little bit annoying when you got to pull that up all the time. Or you could just tuck it on the inside if you got shells in there and you want to avoid trying to move that strap out of the way or that flap out of the way. So on the left hand side, since most guys were right handed, uh, they've got the, the zipper pocket, little storage pocket on this. A little extra storage added feature on this front pocket. The pockets are big enough to fit a box of shells in on both sides. This guy's gonna run shells on one side only. They don't have the shell loops in these pockets. The Pro Vest does as the shell loop. So if you wanted to have a couple of extra longer range shells in your loops, um, you're missing that option here. So you're gonna have to throw them in your opposite pocket. So pockets, great overall, um, depending on what you do or don't like about the, the shell loops. The overall smaller pockets on this LT, less material, less vest, lighter weight, adequate pockets though, if you're running and you need a whole box of shells on one side, good storage on the other. Um, so again, less is more on this vest. Um, let's go ahead and I'm gonna snap this off, flip it around and show you some of the features on the back. A nice adjustable buckle lock for range and depth on your, your game pouch on the back. So you can move that up and down, lock it into place. Got about six inches of adjustment length there, maybe eight. So that's a nice feature. If you want that to sit a little higher or lower, depending on your height. Same adjustment on the game pouch. You've got an adjustable strap that gives you more room inside of the game pouch. The game pouch is 100% water resistant wipe out you can spray it out with your water bottle or hose and just wipe it out with a towel um, pretty good size game pouch you could throw a limit of pheasant in there no problem maybe a couple of sharp tails as well so moving all the way around to the back you'll see the orvis orange storage pouch back here it's got velcro for closing this back side big flap down Decent sized pocket, not as big again as the Pro Vest. Again, less material, less room, um, but definitely adequate for another jacket or some emergency first aid supplies, a little snack, maybe an extra pair of socks, whatever you want to throw in there. Um, and then a storage pocket on the back of that with a zipper enclosure. Looks like it's got a nice nylon waterproof lining, so if you got a bunch of stuff. Inside of that, you want to keep dry. That'd be your pocket. The little key carabiner loop latch here. A little, if you want, maybe that's where you want to throw your keys in there. Um, nice little feature inside of that. So you're going to zip that down, put that back. The last feature I want to talk about here that uh, I don't particularly like size wise. If, uh, if you are going to run dogs with this, I'm going to give you six inches on this water bottle pocket. I carry the big Gatorade sports water bottles for my dogs. They're sticking out quite a bit and they fall out. This is not a deep enough pocket, but you want to go hunting. You've got your regular water bottle for you. Just a little 12 ounce water bottle, throw a couple of, in, a couple of bottles in there. Good size for those. So if you're not running a bunch of distance and your dogs don't need a lot of water, this could still work for you, lighter. Um, let's see here. They do not have, there are the drain holes on the bottom of the back on the game pouch, so that's still a nice feature. So if you got a lot of moisture, dump some water in there to wash out stuff, it's gonna drain out. If you get a bunch of water in there when you're walking around in the weeds, those nice drain holes. Missing the little extra lanyard um, straps on the bottom of this vest for carrying any, anything extra when you're out walking around, if you wanna carry another vest or another jacket, like another base layer. No option here for that. Again, less to the vest. But it does have, on the inside, it does have the lumbar padding on the back of your belt and a 
pouch area. So that is nice and comfort conscious on that. Um, open mesh on the back to keep you from sweating too bad and keep you cool when you're out walking across the prairies early season September chasing sharp tails. This does not have a pocket per se for a water bladder but if you wanted to run a water bladder in this you could hook it on this strap and drop it in your game pouch and still be able to use your water bladder option. The only thing missing to really make that work would be some kind of a loop on the front to run your hose through. So not set up specifically for a water bladder option for hydration. So overall, a nice vest, not the pro vest. The retail on this is 169. Retail on the pro vest, 198. So for your money, if you're looking for a vest that can do more in the early season, uh, that's lighter weight, you could go with this Pro LT vest, not a bad option, but it would be my recommendation that you would go ahead and spend that extra 30 bucks and get the Pro version of the vest. If you're running dogs and you need more storage, that would be the option I would go with. One thing I forgot to mention, it does have this nice little loop on the top. If you want to be able to carry it around, hook it on something in your office or in your tent, office, in your uh, basement or your game room, whatever, wherever you get your, your gear hanging up. You can hang it up so it can dry out. If you've been out walking around in the snow and stuff, this is going to give you the option to hang that up and let your uh, vest dry out. So overall, a nice vest. For the money, not enough to it. The only redeeming feature, like I say, on this vest that I love 100% better than the Pro Vest or like 100% better than the Pro Vest is going to be those movable pockets. So if you got a gal that's going to be hunting with you, you got a buddy that's going to be hunting with you that needs a new vest, needs less re restriction and padding on their mount for getting that gun up to make a good shot, the Pro LT Vest could be the vest for them. And uh, if it's not something that uh, you care about weight wise, I'd go with the Pro Vest. The Pro Vest is definitely heavier, but overall, as you can see, there's a lot more to it. That 42% more weight is 100% worth it at $30 more for the value. So check out the Pro LT and the Pro guide vest at Orvis today if you're looking for a new hunting vest the pro vest is 100% worth the money and the best value out there overall value and feature driven vest on the market right now today so check out Orvis for other hunting vests that they have available they have another strap vest a couple different strap vests you can take a look at and purchase depending on your your uh, your needs so Check out Orvis today, Pro LT and Pro Guide hunting vests.